that too. It almost sounds like singing. <laughs> wow, you must really want to find out what that sound is. <laughs> Me too. Hey, hey, wait up. because you can't see your own face. What do you want? It's almost low tide. We need to head out of the reef. What is it? There was a sound. What sound? Do you promise to take me seriously? I would never promise that. Fine. I heard singing. Singing? Pop? Rock? Opera? I'm serious, Fontaine. Jeffrey heard it too, didn't you? Je Jeffrey? He's over there. Time to go. Okay. Come on, Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Hey! He's not following me. Hmm. Maybe he's more intelligent than I've given him credit for. Something might be wrong. Help me steer him back to the Aranax. Explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. Something is definitely wrong. He won't perform any of his tricks. So, nothing's changed. Maybe it was the song. Maybe it affected him. What song? I heard... something. Just say what you're thinking, Ant. You think you heard a siren. Really? Oh, no. Please, Dad. Don't buy into this. Myths have to start somewhere, Fontaine. I didn't say it was a siren. Were you thinking it was a siren? Of course I was thinking it was a siren. What else could it be? An overactive imagination? Jeffrey heard it too, didn't you, Jeffrey? Right. Clearly, the siren has taken Jeffrey's personality. You heard the singing back at the reef? I'm pretty sure it was coming from the deeper water beyond the reef. Okay, Cole. Turning us around to search for a myth. Yes! Something's still bothering you, Ed. I don't know. There's just something not quite right about him. If you say so. Look, you can see the difference, right? Um... Sure. I'm telling you, Jeffrey is missing all his unique Jeffreyness. Look at that! He's not even following me! Hmm, that is strange. He's always followed you. Exactly. Ever since we first met. Fontaine! Watch this one! It's gonna be the best ever! Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, that was definitely your best one ever, Ant.
following me. Good for you. Maybe you can show off for the fish, and I can read my book in peace. Watch this fish. <laughs> Hey, Fontaine! You watched! <sighs> Great. Come on. We should get back on board. Bye. Time to head back to base. Huh? Oh, no. Ant, we have an issue. Could you come to the bridge, please? What's up? What's up is someone is stopping us from leaving. Huh? We're being held captive. What? The fish! <laughs> he won't move. It seems you've made a new friend. If he's not gonna let us leave, maybe he should come on board? Really? Why not? We have room in our family for one more. What happened to his tail? Get the knights! We have to search that reef! That's not Jeffrey! Seaweed. Every sponge, every anemone, won't rest until Found we... Him. Huh? He's right over there. Jeffrey! Um, I found him too. What? And so have I. Well? Uh, all of these fish have unscarred tails, and none of them have Jeffrey's winning attitude. He's not here. The rover's picking up a distant sound. I'll play it through the speakers. It's a siren. It's real? Of course it's real! Why would I make up a siren? It's beautiful. There's something familiar about that sound. Fontaine, record the sound and send it on to Professor Fiction for analysis. Recording. Whatever the sound is, Jeffrey seemed interested in it. If we follow the sound, maybe we'll find him. I want to find him too, Ant. But I don't want us to leave the Aranax behind on a theory. But he could be under the spell of the siren! Whatever that sound is, it doesn't seem too threatening. Already? Is it Sirens? Uh, Siren? Just the one, according to local accounts. The analysis is still running, but that's not why I'm calling. I'm calling to warn you, you're not the only ones tracking the Siren. What? He's out there. Who? The Monster Hunter. Oh no. Devil Daniels. I don't like where this is going. And somewhere nearby lurks the dreaded Siren. I have read your messages urging me to turn back. Devil Daniels fan 6,000 rights. Please, Devil, you are too important, too charismatic, and too handsome to be lost to this creature. Well, thank you for your concern. According to legend, many poor sailors have been lured to their doom by the siren's song. I face this peril alone for the benefit of all. Earlier, my drone camera picked up this incredible footage. Fontaine, pause it! It's Jeffrey! He is with the siren! Victims, I've lowered the pitch and there's a match! Incredible! It's a match with 52 blue! Of course! I thought I knew it before. It's not a siren song. It's whale song. 52 blue is the loneliest whale in the world. It's never been seen, but it's been heard singing for decades. Never hearing a response from another one of its kind. This monster can't be allowed to... There. A distant sound. It must be the siren. I, 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 I can feel it. The siren. 
siren's song is luring me. I will have to continue this titanic struggle without one of my senses. <sighs> These should block my hearing and counteract the incredible danger posed by the lure of the siren. Daniels doesn't know the siren is really a whale. Huh? Would that stop him anyway? <laughs> the siren! Dead ahead! Fear not, loyal viewers! Soon I will capture the beast! Ooh. Found him! Daniels has a live tracker on his website. He's about a mile southwest of us. And the Shadow Knight is the fastest. Go! We'll catch up! Ed! Daniels is closing in! I can see his boat! I'm almost there! Jeffrey! I have heroically captured the siren! It's okay. We'll get you out. Both of you, just hold on. Mom, Dad, Devil Daniels has the whale and Jeffrey. Try to slow him down. We're coming. Daniels! Amazing! Clearly, the famous Necton family have come to aid in the capture of the siren. Stop the boat! What? I said... Stop the boat! What? Yeah, take off the earmuffs! Thank you for offering your aid. You're a brave, brave child. Foolish, a little simple, but brave. Did you just call me simple? The boy doesn't realize he could fall under the siren's spell in a heartbeat. <laughs> Stop this boat! What? Ah, take off the earmuffs! Wait, you're not trying to help? You're trying to stop me! Tragically, viewers, Ant Necton must already be under the siren spell! I'm not under any- Fear not! I, Devil Daniels, will save him from this dastardly possession! I've got you. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay! He has the whale! And he has Jeffrey! Get to Jeffrey and the whale, try to break them out of that cage. Fontaine, with me. Dad, are the Magnex cables equipped? They are, why? Because if Daniels can't be reasoned with, we may have to take more direct action. Ugh. Four sonar blips for four nectons. Luckily, the monster hunter always comes prepared. Daniels has a shockwave emitter. Look out! Is everyone okay? I'm fine, but I'll feel better once we stop that monster hunter. He must have picked us up on sonar. Ed, use the Shadow Knight stealth mode. Disable that shockwave emitter and free Jeffrey and the whale. We'll be right behind you. Okay, plan B. Jeffrey? You don't want to leave her, hey? I understand. You're a Nectin. This is what we do. Don't worry. We're not leaving without her. Are we, Dad? I'll be ready. Devil Daniels, you have to the count of three to stop your boat. What? Fine. If that's how you want to play it, three, two, one. Dad, drop anchor. Feel my 
myself under the power of the siren song. This is it, loyal viewers. I tried. I tried to selflessly do the right thing, but the Nectons have doomed me. You're not doomed. I am so very doomed. You're not under any spell. Oh, I am. There's no hope for me. I'm in the thrall of the siren. Ugh. Hey! You can't take control of my cameras, I- Your accent is slipping. Oh, nonsense. Also, you're supposed to be under the thrall of the siren. This siren? What is your problem? We could work together. With your tech and my charisma, we could be unstoppable. Daniels, release the whale. Wait, you're right. We can work together. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Have you heard of 52 Blue? What? It's a whale who's never been seen until now. It's been heard calling for a friend for almost 30 years in the North Pacific Ocean. And? We're nowhere near the North Pacific Ocean. Which means there's another one. What are you saying? We just found a friend for the loneliest whale on the planet. In fact, we're happy to say that you found this friend if you agree to help us. Devil Daniel's marine matchmaker. I think I can make that work. It's a, it's a good twist. It's also a good thing to do. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hi there. We're going on a little journey, but you're gonna be okay. Jeffrey, you incredibly brave fish. Why don't you keep your friend company? So, you see, this was no siren calling sailors to their doom. This was an incredible creature calling for a friend. We've come to the exact place the elusive 52 Blue was last heard in the North Pacific Ocean. We hope that two unique songs will soon be sung in harmony. That's your cue to release the whale. What? Ah! That's Jeffrey. Of course it is. How can you not see it? Ah, welcome home, Jeffrey. <laughs> 